on excellent music babies. Now, Is that why you always tell us to be sure we're saying the words that we that we know rather than what we think we know? I said that's why I tell you that. Well, well the, the the excellent movie. Now this started because you remember this movie, uh, An Affair to Remember, right? That's the name of the movie. And you were telling me it came out last year. I go, there ain't no movie. I got no movie. I said, there ain't no movie came out last year. Where, where it now, I looked it up on the thing, like 1957 or something like that. 1957. Uh, good. But, it was, uh, you, but first you thought it was Charles Hess. But no, it, it was, uh, uh, what's, what's your guy? Um, Deborah Carr was a woman. What's the guy? And then, um, uh, uh, Cary Grant. Grant. Cary Grant. That's right. It's your guy. So, then, so, so of course, now, I'm going like, hey. Let's, you, then you talk about that song, right? So, we, so I, I found the song on the thing, mm -hmm. but you know, some there's the movie song, you know, they, they, the little scene from where it said, ah, no, wait a second, I see they got some Nat King Cole doing this. Ain't nothing smoother than Nat nothing King smooth. Cole. Smooth dudes. <laughs> so, so now we just play some Nat King Cole. And you're telling me that that when you was teaching school, your your, your children have an appreciation for this? Yes. When we had lunch and come in from lunch just before they would go for physical education, mm -hmm. we would they would always come into the room and put their lunch boxes or whatever they were bringing from the cafeteria. And the one little I always had a student att assistant, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that student assistant would go mm -hmm. in there, lower the lights in the room. Really? Yes, and go to the get the tape or the whatever at the music center mm -hmm. and turn on what they want to hear. Oh, My principal oh. <laughs> said to me one day, she said, that the, when they had this flu going around it, they had to get substitutes for the substitute. There were so many people absent uh -huh. who had to, because of, of sickness, sickness. This was flu, wait, 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 about what year was this? When was this? Uh, about, I guess about Six or seven years ago. That, that's soon? Mm -hmm. In the 2000s? You was teaching that? Mm -hmm. And they allowed you to lower the lights in the class? <laughs> that was my class. My children wanted that. <laughs> and she said, when the child got up there and played up there, the Brandenburg, they said, what you want to listen to? Somebody said, the Brandenburg Concerto. And she said, yeah, big time. Brandon Burger. They can't even say the words compared to. <laughs> she said, when that little boy took that arm of that needle of the thing and put the tape in there, mm -hmm. and she said, I don't know the name of that song, but it sounds like a Brandon Burger to me. She mm -hmm. said, You never seen such children such peace in my mind. Mm -hmm. Everybody was sitting there. Some were sitting there listening like this. The some were sitting, had little heads on the desk. Some got up and walked around the room. Some looked back at the, at the aquarium. I had a mouse. I had a mouse, and, and, the, and the, some kids got up and looked at the mice while the mice were listening to the music. <laughs> so she said, I'm sorry that Joe can't be here today. But I would have never had this experience if she had been here today. She said, of all the people in the world, she's leaving Robbie as teacher assistant. Robbie was in the class across the hall from me. And the principal came in there and said, Doe, would you do me a favor? I said, if I can. Mm -hmm. She said, would you please take uh, uh, one of Thay Thayer's students, because she's at the front door, in her classroom with her attaché case in one hand, her pocketbook on her shoulder, and her keys in the other hand. She said, either Robbie goes or I left. <laughs> and that's the way she said it. Now here's Robbie in the classroom with other little children. Uh -huh. I said, this doesn't seem like the right kind of thing to happen. You don't just walk out and leave your children. Girl, hold on a second. Uh, 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 we, we're going to finish with Robbie. Let me go back because this time frame, we got to get this time frame. Right. It wasn't those six or seven years ago. What year was you teaching this? What 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 years was you teaching this school in this class? What 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 what, what classroom was this? 
What, 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 what grade was this? What, what, what school was you at? Eastern Elementary. Eastern Elementary. Okay, so they was up to like 12 years old, right? The kids would be up to about. Okay. Okay? Okay, that's fine. But what year was you teaching at Eastern Elementary? What were years were you there? What years were I was there? Yeah, from Eastern Elementary. From like 19 what? It had to be the 60s. 1960, 1970? What was it? I was at Eastern about six six years. So what year, what year was it? Like 1965, 1966? No, we had to go back earlier. Because I graduated... From college in fifty seven. So that was like sixty two. Mm -hmm. Okay, now 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 you can go on with with Robbie and 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 the Brandenburg Concerto or whatever have you. So we we'll say like it's the early sixties. Okay, now 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 I understand because they I I can't imagine it happening in like you know in two thousand you know fifteen or even two thousand eighteen or no they no, they okay because but the, the so, thing of it is when I. When she came to the classroom and asked me when I come up to Thayer's room, I thought maybe Thayer was sick or something. And she wanted me to come over there to be with the children until we could get somebody to look after her. Mm -hmm. I thought that's what it was. I didn't know it because she was, she was sick of Robbie. <laughs> Robbie, <laughs> we found out that Robbie was artistic. Okay. No one had ever checked that him out. We knew he had to take medicine before he would leave home. You get to school, and after being in school for about an hour, he had to go to the nurse's office to get his adrenaline or what he had to take. Uh, and then before lunch, he would have to take something like an aspirin. Well, it wasn't an aspirin, but something, uh, a mild something. And he would have his lunch. Robbie made a sound like, that's all the sound he made. Mm -hmm. He did it when he was doing his home, doing his classwork. Mm -hmm. If somebody was reading a story and he enjoyed it, he's uh, 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 like this, uh -huh. this sounds good. Mm -hmm. But that got on Thayer's nerves. <laughs> she said, you cut that noise out. And I'm not going to tell you another time. Mm. And he said, yes, ma'am. This is polite as it could be. But when Ms. when uh, the principal asked me if I would take Robbie, I thought she was going to say, at least can come on to my classroom until Francis, get, get Francis together so she won't just leave the children and leave everybody. Because of one Robbie, yes. Before she could decide what she was going to do next, she, the principal looked at me. She says, Joe, can you do me that favor? I said, for the children, I can do it for anybody. Mm -hmm. So I said, and I'm so sorry that Robbie is uh, not aware of what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So Francis said, I think he knows what he's doing. <laughs> I think I know what he's doing. I said, but until we decide that he knows what he's doing, Let's not hold it against him completely. She said, is he going with you? I said, yes, if he can, if it's all right. Robert said to me, excuse me, I'd like to go with you to your class. May I go with you to your class and be one of your children? I said, of course. Was Robert. it the same grade level? Was it the same grade level? Your uh -huh. class and his class? Oh, okay. When I took him by the hand, you no, know, I said, before he left, I said, tell your teacher and your classmates so long for a while. So long. And he said, he just like a little, a robot. Thank you, Mrs. Thayer. Thank you, classmates. And I'll see you in a little while. Mm -hmm. Took me by the hand and walked out the door. We walked out the door and walked to my class. When I walked in my classroom, my kids were sitting there waiting for me to come back because I just told them I'd be right back. It was a long time. And uh, they said, I said, you have a new uh, classmate. 
One little girl said, that's not a classmate, that's Bobby Boyd. Because <laughs> the little children <laughs> live ready with each other on the same street, on the uh, same block. Uh -huh. She said, that's no classmate, he's just Bobby Boyd. That this was in Norfolk? Yeah, okay, Norfolk, Virginia. So he was, he was uh, all excited. And when the little girl said, you can come over here and sit by me, Robbie, if you want to. Unless you just want to sit over there with the other boys. Uh-oh. He said, I don't care where I sit. I have a seat in here. Somebody said, you have a seat. You're now one of us. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Let's go back to this little girl. She she didn't want him to sit with the other boys. She wanted to sit with, 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 with her. What was, what was she, she trying to rap to him? What's going on with this thing? Um... Uh, she was being polite, what do you say? No, uh, nothing going on special that was very special. That is just the routine that they had set up for mm -hmm. themselves because it wasn't long enough a period before we had physical education. Mm -hmm. So it had to be something, maybe 15 minutes, that's mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. But this Libby crowd has told me the principal said, if ever if ever I have to be absent, she said, "Don't try, don't try to get anybody to come and teach for me. Just let my children take over. The children can do very well, and they did. They did very well with themselves. Mm -hmm. If they had an announcement to go home, Robin, they said Robin sent one of the kids uh, to the office to get them the things that, to go home with the parents, and she said." She, she came out to the off out of her office and looked down the hall. Robbie was walking with one of the kids who had come accompanied him to bring the papers back to the classroom. And he was saying to the child, I am very impressed on your behavior today. She said, Robbie's saying he's impressed on my behavior today. She said, I'm gonna listen to some more of this. So she went in her office and turned on the mic to, in the classroom. Mm -hmm. She said, when Robbie got there with that child, they opened the door, you could hear the door, then when it closed, he made the comment, I am thoroughly impressed, he said, with your behavior in my absence. Oh, like he, this just is, like he had been someplace. Wait, so Robbie was telling the, Robbie, who's one of the classmates, yes. was telling the other classmates. Because see, he was the teacher's assistant. The he, teacher's assistant was making that announcement. Oh, as a teacher's assistant. Okay, now, now, now we got to straighten. Hold on a second. Now, he's aut what is autism? Autism is a, um, a condition that deals with the auditory perception of a person's thinking mm -hmm. mentally, and it can sometimes lead to uh, art, uh, uh, what is it that, I'm trying to think of the condition that people have taken medication for, uh, well, now they call it ADT or whatever, attention deficit disorder or something, ADD or whatever. Some kind of this, some kind of order, this kind of mental disorder. Okay, but hold on a second now. See, my I don't deal with you know, with young children anymore. You know, I used to teach a, a lot, but um, I always know the autistic children they can't really stand loud noises. Like if you go to a movie theater, it's like well, they can't mm. stand that. But usually they're, they're all very smart. That's the whole thing. I'm thinking very about. smart. They are in highly, highly intelligent. Mm. But their behave mannerisms and things distracts from it, and you don't get a chance to evaluate, to appreciate the person. But you learn to try to adjust to this. They call it nuisance behavior. Mm. But you see, Robbie. Now, Robbie was the first grader. He, as far as I can remember, they said Robbie took, used to had to take dancing when he was a little kid because he wasn't his walking uh, was not the best. He did a lot of still 
um, trying to walk and and falling, mm. or if he was going to come to visit you, he would be in your living room grabbing a table or something as if he was going uh, to fall. Oh, so the auditory situation was that that was affecting his balance then, and the dancing corrected that. Okay. But then the children started teasing him mm -hmm. in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So he was taking girl. He was in. He was in a. Uh, he's the only guy in, only boy in the class in mm -hmm. the in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. who they taking up sissy dancing, <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't understand sissy dancing. Mm -hmm. He thought he was going there for, for to help him with his walking. Okay. Well, he'd be right. Yeah. Okay. Well, he found out about it. Mm -hmm. Robbie was something else. But did did he did he complete the dance class? I mean, did the dancing help? Yeah, he stopped. He just stopped. Mother and dad just stopped it. The doctor told him uh, the purpose for it was no longer there. The need for it was no longer there. Let him go on his own, mm -hmm. and he's gonna learn to walk. And he did. The way, the way he's supposed to walk, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go back to the school situation. Now he's the teacher's assistant, which makes him your assistant. Uh huh. Okay, so now, okay, okay. How did you have the insight into having him not only be the teaching assistant, but do the duties in such a way that he actually was assisting the teachers? What I'm, I guess, what I'm asking. Yeah, I did not. Uh, I didn't have time to do that. I just did that like that hmm. because. I had I had in previous years, I, I had a teacher assistant. Uh, in case of, let's say we had to go someplace and and the people they were asking you to line up the kids by guys or by the girls, mm -hmm. and you have somebody just swoosh, everybody come in and stand behind, down behind brother brother. All the guys stand behind brother, mm -hmm. and for that particular class. You were the teacher assistant mm -hmm. helping the PE teacher mm -hmm. with the lining up of the guys. Mm -hmm. And another person was over there lining up the ones for the girls. Mm -hmm. Didn't matter. You didn't have any, have any special qualification. No, you you learn everything. as you move mm -hmm. and you operate it. Mm -hmm. I said, my, my Robbie, Walter had a favorite teacher at Hampton University. He loved Conley. Connie was the kind of teacher who would say, today we are going to talk about autism. He would go to the board and write autism all across the board. Oh, well, no, hold on, hold on. Sorry. But now you're skipping, you, 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 your, your husband was teaching at Hampton University? He was a student. A student at Hampton University. A graduate program. Uh -huh. At Hampton. But the part of the students, they were teaching... Um, the class he was in, in Dr. Connolly's class, the subject that day was going to be autism. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Cindy is just writing and said, we're going to go to another area of type of learning. It's called autism. Has anyone ever heard of autism? Mm -hmm. It gives an opportunity for somebody if they've heard about it. Mm -hmm. They said, I've heard about it. don't know too much about it, but I heard about it. Mm -hmm. As you mean to tell me no one knows anything in here but me? <laughs> the teachers. <laughs> My girlfriend said, he said, Said, no. do you believe what he just said? He's not giving us credit to knowing anything. Okay, hold on. You're missing some points. You're, you're skipping over some points. Now, your, your, I guess, soon-to-be husband or a future husband was a teaching assistant for this class, and you was a student in this class at Hampton. Is that what you're telling me? Is that what no, I'm no, doing? I said I was a student in the class, in yeah. Dr. Conley's class. class. Now, what, 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 what was Walter, your 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 future husband to, or to be, what was he in the class? He wasn't in that class. He had had him before. Oh, okay. In another class. Okay. Okay. The door, I don't want you to be, uh, I'm, I'm thinking diabolical things, you know. So I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, I, well, go ahead. So, I'm but sorry. Delphine said, no, you have a little boy in your class who's autistic. I said, I know it. He said, why you raise your hand? I said, he didn't ask the question. If you know someone, raise your hand. <laughs> Stop. I said, I don't want this man <laughs> getting on my case. I got to get out of graduate. I got to, I got to graduate. He said, well, it looks like if it's not for me, 
You wouldn't know anything. <laughs> That's the kind of person he was. About tall as that. Look, I'm going to exaggerate. But he was a short person. <laughs> a oh, very he's, short person. Oh, he's overcompensating, you're trying to say? Well, yes. I'm not, I'm, okay, let me not put words in my mouth. He would say, well, for the, for the sake of your inability to com communicate with me appropriately at, at my level, being saying now, why don't you just go and say what he's going to say and be through with it? He said, do you write? And I said, I'm writing. He said, what you don't write, what you don't get, I'll write it. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. He said, we're comparing notes after class. Mm -hmm. Good. By the time Conley started talking about autism, he made a statement and that was not right. I, it was wrong. Mm -hmm. He said, does anyone here disagree with what I just said? You should have seen the hands doing like this, getting ready to raise a hand. But they knew how he was. Uh -huh. They put the hands back down. Uh -huh. Does anybody have a question in your mind about what I just said? Mm -hmm. If so, raise your hand. I saw the little hands start going up. <laughs> and by the time they could get above the, the desktop, the hands are going back down. Hold on a second. Okay. I don't mean to interrupt you. Really, my don't mention it. But, okay, well, let me continue with the story. Just go ahead, continue with the story. So, that, so nobody, did your hand go up? That's my question. No, I didn't raise my hand because I didn't want that man to hurt my feelings. But hmm. if he was wrong. That's the why, the kind of person he was in that class. Everybody said, well, we got to go take this class for graduation. Or in the, in the criteriums, and you can just go through there and stay as long as you have to stay in that class. And when that bell, when that bell rings for final bell, you don't have to be with them anymore. Go to another teacher. But this is the H HBCU, whatever historic, you know, whatever blah blah. blah. Y'all can't let no teacher. I guess y'all did. Okay. Well, back then, all right. Well, I I ran across a lot of folk up there. Mm. Uh. On the campus, I uh, the whole time I would take my graduate program up there at Hampton, I didn't ever see the president. Hmm. Never saw Harvey. I knew he was there, hmm. but I didn't ever see him. I didn't see him in the snack bar or, or in the uh, music center, or down at Foster Hall. Or I did see him at a game. I just saw him at. A, Football game, mm. but that's about all I would see of him. Mm. But Walter just thought Connie was an excellent teacher, and I guess he was, but not for me. Mm. He had the nerve to go at Coliseum Mall in Hampton, and he met somebody over there who was doing the blood drive. He asked Connie, he said, uh, "How are your classes? Are they?" Fairly well, uh, are they fairly well packed? He said, oh, yeah, I have them from wall to wall, front to back, back to front. He said, well, do me a favor. When you go back on campus next week, explain to the students that we're having this blood drive and we're inviting anyone who'd like to come and share some blood for the blood drive. He told the man when we was talking, you can put us down for 100% participation. No, we didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. He comes to class and tells us, oh, incidentally, I just, I just volunteered all of you to participate in a blood drive. One girl said, that means a needle. He said, yes, it does. You shouldn't, she said, you shouldn't have done that without asking us and asking me at least. Mm -hmm. Suppose I'm not able to give any blood because of my type. I know the types you have. Now, Connie did not know all of our blood type. I know he didn't because he didn't know mine. <laughs> so he said, she said, well, you mean, he said, you mean to tell me you're going to keep this from being 
participation from this class. <laughs> and she said, it may be that, because you expected me to be there. I will not be there. He was furious. I guess he said, folks don't usually mock him, you know, say too much. Beanie said to me, Doe, would you call this lady right here going to be one of our top students in the class? <laughs> we may not, Zikanda may not know your name or my name, but he's going to know her name because she said she is not biting her. It looked like she was saying, I've been waiting for you, brother. Now I'm going to speak my word. I don't know how many people went up th went there that Saturday. Mm. I know I didn't go. Mm. I am not going to go anywhere like that with Mike going to stick a needle in me because somebody volunteered me. I don't think you don't do things like that. That's not nice. Mm. Well, mm -mm. well the, 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 let me ask you this question. Do you think... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm laughing at everything. I'm sorry. I see My whole attitude of everything... See, I, I, I look at everything. Most of the things I hear are absurd to me. This is an absurd situation to me. So when I hear absurdities, I start laughing. I mean, it's just an automatic response. It's not a nervous laugh. It's a genuine, this is so absurd. It's ridiculous. And the only way to deal with it is not, you can't take it seriously. You know, because what you... That's it. You can't take it serious. So what I'm thinking, here's why I'm laughing. What I'm thinking, maybe Connolly was autistic. Mm -hmm. Borderline at least. I don't know. I'm not saying I'm not a doctor. I used to be a lab technician. Actually, actually, I used to do blood drives. I used to uh, um, draw blood from people. Mm -hmm. I, I used to be one of them. When I got out of the service, um, I was working as a lab technician. But 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 I used to. Um, in fact, I didn't like needles so much that I was like the best phlebotomist on the East Coast. Coast mm -hmm. I was, uh, because I could, and they they would come. They would line up for me because I would I wouldn't hurt anybody. I'm going like I was good. Oh. I was good. I was good. You had a long line. Ah, oh, 16 gauge needle. Well, we, we, we were scheduled. But I mean, hey, I'm master of the 16 gauge. Mm -hmm. That's right. That, that back then, you know. I don't know what they do these days. Anyway, so thank you for this uh, this story of autism and, and, and woof, my goodness. Whoa. This. My Robbie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened to when, when, when you have you... What happened to Robbie eventually? What did Robbie you... graduated. I think he went on to graduate school, good in college, and mm. doing a good job. I said that he has excellent job. Mm. But he was just not a... His only thing was his... his uh, that medical problem he had. Mm. And he was able... He was working with it. The doctor was working with it. Mm. Because I had to send in... Uh, a letter to the doctor each week about Robbie. His progress or mm -hmm. what was happening. Be it uh, something he had was progressed or he was regressing mm -hmm. and what I may have done or suggested that he would help to compensate mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. And the doctor would send me a letter back indicating that he had received the letter and thanks for what we're doing in the classroom to help Robbie. And I under, she said, I understand that during the spelling test, you have a bonus word. I said, a bonus. Oh, I forgot the bonus word. I said to myself, what can I use as a bonus word? Robbie said, no, Robbie said, mm, mm, mm. made that sound. Mm -hmm. I said the bonus word today with 25 points is mm, mm, mm. Stop. You did not. <laughs> yes, I did. And you know what? Mm. Every child in that class wrote down the same sound that they heard him make. Mm. Every one of them. Mm. They said that was an easy word, mama. <laughs> I said to myself, I wish I knew how to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping me a bit saying it was a nice word. Okay. But they always wanted to be challenged. Yeah. I don't care what what it was. If I come to my mind, there's something that'll be interesting for them to do. I just tell them about it. As I woke up early this morning, 
And this one came to my mind. They said, what was it? And I'll tell them. They said, can we do that now? I said, I haven't perfected it yet. I said, I got to wait till I can mill it over and get it straight. Yeah, the in my mind. percolate like the coffee in the morning. Yeah. Okay. And he said, this you'll see. Well, is Miss Jones coming? Inez Jones was the music teacher. I said, she'll be by here going down the hall to some class. By this time, somebody would be at the door knocking. Mm. They said, I bet that's Miss Jones. And it would be, she walking in, she said, how many of you are planning to go to the Oyster, Oyster Bowl Parade? Oyster Parade. Some of the kids said, well, my daddy said he's going to take me. One little girl said, I can't go because I don't, I don't have anybody to take me. One little person said, I want to go, but I can't go because I'm not old enough yet. They had all these different reasons why they couldn't go to the parade. By this time, Annie had stepped in and said, how many of you would like to see Miss America? And then all the little hands went up. We'll see you really Miss America. How many of you would like to see Miss uh, uh, Rose Bowl? No, Oyster Bowl Princess. The little hands went up. I don't know anybody to do with them. But they just raised their little hands. So finally, I did say, if there was a one time that you would like to hear something, what would that be? One little boy said, I like to hear a song that talks about people sharp marching and people singing and people dancing. And one little girl said, he wants to hear a song about everything. That's all. So I said, I said, well, I'll see what I can find. Now this was before lunch. After lunch, when the kids are in there listening to some soft music, Inez comes down the hall on a truck that they use, it, the maids use for taking their brooms and things mm -hmm. when they're cleaning the room. Mm -hmm. Came down the hall and she was standing <laughs> in one of the trash cans singing, Here she is, Miss America. There she is, my idea. And she's blowing kisses. <laughs> <laughs> but principal came down all she said I had I can't even be in the office and be a principal for all this action don't here on this hall this is the busiest hall I've ever seen in my life I then said excuse me are you planning to go to the parade <laughs> Saturday she said yes she said well you don't have to go now because we have our own <laughs> well, well going back to, to Robbie was Robbie a part of that did he see that did he respond to that what, what he thought he? that was quite interesting. <laughs> Knowing him, he would have said, "Would you want a, a student to ride on the on the truck with with the music teacher?" He would have said, "Oh, I'll be glad to go." Mm -hmm. But Robbie was my baby for a long time. Even when I left working at the school, I had to get worried from Robbie. If he got sick, his sister came to me and said. Mrs. Bagby, if you can, would you come by the house and see Robbie? So he's so lonesome by himself. I said, by himself? Got a mom and a daddy and a sister and a dog. But he said he's so lonesome. So that's the only thing I can do is go around there to his mom and daddy's house and, and see Robbie. Oh, bless him. Bless him. When bless he saw me coming up the dog walkway to the house, mm -hmm. I heard a scream. It's Mrs. Bag. No, it's Mama Bagby. Ma Mama, open that front door, please. Hurry up. Mama Bagby's out there. She needs. She needs to come in. Mm -mm -mm. When I got in there, the family was at the dinner table. Robbie was not at the dinner table. Oh. Robbie had done something, oh. and they made him go to his room. Oh. That meant he was going to be having dinner, but he'll be having it alone. Every what he did. It. But when, just before I got there, Robbie got out of the room. He op took the, open the, uh, 
window and got out the window. <laughs> it was out in the backyard playing. Oh, <laughs> in the backyard playing. <laughs> and they wanted to know, how did you get out here? Mm. He said, I just opened the window and came on out. I was tired of being in there by myself. Okay. And when I got there, he had to confess his sin. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mama, baby, I did something that was not nice. I said, what did you do, baby? I was told to go to my room and stay in there until they said, come on out and we can have dinner. I said, well, that doesn't sound too bad. Is that bad? His dad and mama said, it's a bad if I, he came out of that room and I didn't tell him to come out yet. Mm. So, okay. We got some mamas got rules mm. and daddy got some rules sitting over there looking. Okay. Everybody has a rule. But Robbie didn't have a rule. Robbie's rule was, I'm tired of being in that room by myself. And came out. Well, tell me what, what, what happened with Robbie. Did You said he went to college. Yeah. You know, and, and what, I don't know which, which college he attended. But they told me his sister said that he was doing well in college. And that's the, that's the last you heard of him? Or did you? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just wanted to know a little bit about Robbie. But that my Robin. Mm.